Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you a technique using the stamp set Seasonally Scattered. This is a great set. It has a thank you stamp and then it also has a love one and a merry one. And the technique that I'm going to show you today could be used with any of those stamp sets, but it's kind of a fun technique. You make your own stamp pad. And so what I've got here is just a, a sheet of wax paper. I don't know, my hope is that it's going to protect my surface underneath. Not that it matters because I'm just using some scrap paper down there. But I thought if you're using it on a table, you might want to make sure that you have some form of something to a barrier. A piece of felt, and this is just a small piece of felt that I've actually folded in half um, to make a double layer. The stamp, some stays on, and some reinkers. And so what I'm going to do to begin with is take this stamp, and I'm just going to kind of line it up there. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking a Sharpie, and I'm drawing a line. Oops. Make sure you draw the line onto the felt. That's just going to give me an idea of placement for my stamp um, when you see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up my the whole stamp with stays on, and I'm going to stamp it right onto this piece of felt, right in between those lines. That's just a, like a guide. Stamp that on there, and then you can see where you get the image of the stamp. And then, once that's dried, it doesn't take very long, I'm going to go ahead and take reinkers, and I'm just going to draw on here with the reinkers where I want these colors to be. This is Hello Honey. I'm using um, Hello Honey. Let me get some on here. And as you can see, I'm just putting it onto leaves that are around on this stamp. Get this one down here. And then a little um, pumpkin pie, and I think I'll make some of these swirly gigs. Pumpkin pie. Cajun craze. And I am putting some of the darker color by the thank you. I'm going to make this one Cajun craze to this whole thing here. And this one here. Kind of forgot where I put some of the colors because once they're on the felt, they look the same. And then Mossy Meadow. Now you want to make sure that you get all of the images. I think I'll make this one mossy meadow too. This long one here. And this one here. Okay, you want to make sure you're using a clean stamp again, so go ahead and take clean that stays on off. Then you're going to go ahead and use this as an ink pad. And so I'm going to line this up right between those lines. And I'm going to tap it a few times just because I want to make sure that those inks get blended. And let's see what we got. And when you stamp it down, you get a really fall looking um, stamp, and you can kind of see a couple spots where I didn't get ink, but the more that you use it, the more blended it gets. And so your thank you will come out. It's really pretty. Um, and you can get quite a few inkings from one ink pad like this. So I think I got 20 cards, which seems like a lot to some people, but when I'm doing my thank yous for my customers for the month, 20 is nothing. Um, and so if you're interested and you want to get one of these cards this month, go ahead and place an order with me. This is going to end up being my thank you card. I will uh, post a picture of what it turns out to look like. I love these fall colors all blended together. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter. Um, at www.ddstamps.com. Thanks and have a great day.